the largest transocean sailing event in the world. Every year, the Ark brings together over 200 yachts from all over the world. The Caribbean destination is Rodney Bay Marina in St. Lucia, one of the most beautiful islands in all of the Lesser Antilles. The 2,700 nautical mile passage takes on average between 12 and 24 days. Many more nationalities are represented across the cruise, making the Ark not only the world's largest trans-ocean sailing event, but also the most diverse. All coming to the Rodney Bay Marina in St. Lucia, the yachts will cover a distance of 2,700 nautical miles from Las Palmas off the coast of Spain. Most of these yachts will take between 12 and 24 days to complete this passage. This annual transatlantic rally starts in November from Las Palmas de Gran Canaria and has now become the most popular way of crossing the Atlantic with over 200 yachts from all over the world. A wide-ranging program of entertainment takes place both before the Ark and after the finish of the rally. In St. Lucia, the Ark enjoys the support of the St. Lucia Tourist Board as well as numerous private sector sponsors. St. Lucia's history is a colourful one, with tales of nautical bandits, treasure hunters and bloody battles on the high seas, all in her name. One only has to set sail along the majestic coastline of St. Lucia to know exactly what all the fuss was about. Sailing St. Lucia. You don't have to be a participant in the Ark in order to enjoy the thrills of yachting in and around our Caribbean island. The services available to yachting and boating enthusiasts and professionals here in St. Lucia are almost as varied as the visiting vessels themselves, with new and improved marinas and specialty services throughout the island. Rodney Bay Marina is one of the Caribbean's finest full-service facilities and an absolute must-stop for yachtsmen. Originally, nothing but a very large mosquito-infested swamp, the Rodney Bay Marina was created in 1972 when the swamp was completely dredged. This insightful event not only got rid of the mosquitoes, but also opened up the northern part of the island, much of which is some of the most sought after real estate in St. Lucia today. Since its inception in 1986, the time taken for the fastest yacht to make the passage entirely by sail has fallen steadily, with the current course record being set in ARC 2006. This is St. Lucia, only on the Visitor Channel.